Hello crafters, welcome to today's video. Today is a design team project for Memo Made It stamps. Um, a link for MemoMadeIt.com will be in the description bar and in the comments below. I found these place cards in my local Poundland and when I saw them I instantly thought what great tags they would make. What you've got to do is slice it down the middle and you've got two tags. So that's what we're going to do with you today. I've made a whole bunch of um, tags using May May's Christmas stamps that I've got over the course of the past few years. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these, I'm going to cut these uh, place cards in half, just using the uh, score line that's already there. But on this one, I need to have it free. I need to keep the. Uh, I need to keep it as is because I'm going to be using the stamp set ugly sweater um, and you can see how old my one is it's still got May May's old um, logo on it but it's well loved as you can see so I'm going to be using the ugly sweater so I'm going to take the sweater stamp out of the casing and attach it to one of my acrylic blocks in fact I'm going to use my new I'm going to use the new position press and that's something that I got from memomade.com Okay, so we're going to put my stamp on here and I'm going to use Memento ink because I'm probably going to use some either cutting pencils or Spectra Noirs on it, I haven't decided yet. Let's move those two out of the way. Okay, put my, so lighting that up so it's nice and straight. Yeah, I've got this the right way. There we go, and because it's um, on half, I'll get half the jumper on each of the um, the tags, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, if you're like me and you like to paper piece, then this would be a great tag for you to paper piece. But what I wanted to do with these tags is literally just use um, the stamps themselves and coloring pencils or um, coloring pens, Noirs, Copics, whatever you've got in your stash. I wanted this to be um, usable. Um, for those of us who don't have, um, who don't like to paper piece, it's just something that you could do sitting in front of a movie, get your grandkids or your kids involved, and you can knock out some really great little, um, some great tags. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do is with all four, I'm going to chomp their corners, and I'm going to use my We Are Memory Corners photo chomp, and I'm going to be using the um, angle side. And that will give me my traditional tag shape. And then I'm going to use my wheel memory keepers. What do you call this? Wheel memory keepers. Does it have a name? My oh, cropper dial. That's what it's called for the hole. So all four of them together. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Right. That's that done. So you could paper piece these if you want to. I'm just going to use some um, Spectrum. Uh, this is the Spectrum Noir sparkle pens, and I'm going to colour in this um, this lovely festive jumper in red, and it's going to be red sparkly. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit. From the same stamp set, Mammy has this little snowflake, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that in the black memento ink. I'm going to put those just to decorate the background. There we go. And then on the back, you simply use the to and from. Now, Mammy has a couple of to and froms from two stamp sets. The um, the I think it was called the um, stitch shapes, and then she's also got the um, Christmas stitch shapes and the all stitch, the full stitched up. So you can put those on there. And I'm going to have on here eat, drink, and be tacky. I'm just going to put that on the bottom.
eat, drink, and be tacky. Right, crafters, on the next one, I'm going to be using Santa's key. Now I've got my gift tags ready. And now what I've done is I've stamped out the small gift tag that comes in the set. And I'm just going to play, uh, punch some holes into that because I want to have um, a little gift tag hanging off of this gift tag. Just gonna pop some holes into that. And on this gift tag here, I'm going to stamp the sentiment Santa's key. And I'm going to stamp that in some red ladybug memento. So let's move these things out of the way. Come out of the way, you. Out of the way. That's it. Come out of the way. That's it. I'm just going to stamp on here Santa's key. And then on the actual um, tags themselves, I'm going to stamp the key and the keyhole image. And I'm going to stamp them in a silver pigment ink. And they will be on and off the tag, just to make it look more professional. to both tags okay now using a um, the key I'm going to use the vintage photo um, oxide ink for the key hoping to achieve is get the top of the key where the hole for the cord will go so it look like it's holding the key in place so it's like that okay now using some red and white baker's twine going to cut two lengths off where is my other one there it is now you could color in the um, these um, keys and the, and the keyholes if you wish but I'm just uh, trying to make these as easy for um, People don't necessarily craft as such, or children who can just sit down with their parents and do these. So that's that. And what I'm going to do is get another piece of the baker's twine. I'm just going to tie that on. So as you can see, it looks like it's gone through the key, so it looks like the key's there as well. got any key embellishments they would look really nice attached to these any Christmas embellishments would look lovely attached to these and let's do the to and from and I'm going to do that using the red um, ladybug ink okay crafters now I'll bring over all the different tags and that stamp sets I've used to create them so these tags were used made using the uh, Santa's key so that's that one I'm just going to bring them all over one by one and then we have the um, ho 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 and I used a red um, sparkle pen and the snow writer which is available for memomadeit.com and that was using Santa's stuck So there's the Santa Snuck tag, and then there's snow one is it uh, snow peaking, and there we go. I've done those ones, and that is using the um, orange liquid pearl, and the red sparkle pen, and the snowflakes and the snowmen from the set. And then obviously on the back it's got the two and the from. And then from G's Teddy Bear Lane we have these two here. The North Pole again with the Snow Writer and the uh, red glitter pen, and then the the lovely bear from the 
from the set. And then we have the one I did with you on camera, the uh, ugly sweater. And I just used a brown glitter pen and the red glitter pen. And that was from Ugly Sweater. We have the um, Christmas stitch shapes. And I used the candy cane and the silver bells. Nice and simple. And then we've got Happy Tree. And I did these ones here. And it's just using all glitter, all the sparkle glitter pens and the stamps from the, the stamp set. And then you've got, um, what's this one called? All is Bright. And you have this, and you've got Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining, and it's got all the stars, and it's got some uh, gold and silver glittery um, stitch lines. So there we go. Lots of different ways you can use May May stamp sets to create some tags, which you can just sit down with your children while watching a Christmas movie, and uh, you'll end up getting some lovely individual tags that the children would love to, to give out. Thank you very much for joining me crafters and I will see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.